Coach John Limbaugh Show brought to you by Lori Darlings. The coach has been said, I've never had a bad meal from Lori Darlings, and that is a fact on my hand. Yeah, I don't want anybody to ask. <laughs> great food, great people. It's a joy to be there. Yeah, and you know, they've been a real plus for, for Fayetteville High oh, School. Oh, absolutely. Always have been. Lori does a great job. She's fantastic. She'll be feeding us tonight. It's always great. Now, you know what the, what the menu is tonight? I do not. I'm thinking maybe hamburger steaks, but we'll see. And they're good. They're great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the old yellow bird on the road last week to uh, yeah. Ranburn, and uh, as they say, sometimes the wheels came off the wagon. Yeah, we, uh, you know, Jimmy, we played a really good ball game in some respects. Uh, I thought our offense moved the ball well. First thing we got the ball and moved it right down the field to score a you know, touchdown, went for it on a fourth down along the way. And Coach Collier talked me into it. We went for first down and made it. <laughs> and uh, we, we looked good on that first drive. And, and uh, the defense was looking strong. And, but we had a letdown in our kicking game. And, uh, you know, we had, you know, no one person's fault. I take responsibility for all of that. Uh, myself, not having the uh, team ready on the uh, special teams aspect of things. But uh, they ran one back. Uh, uh, almost uh, to a touchdown, we stopped them. And they scored off of that, and we had three very, very short, ineffective punts that gave them the ball within the 20. And you know, you take off, uh, you know, 28 points, and we win pretty big. But the score was 35 to 19. Uh, they were ready to play. Coach Bailey had those guys ready to play, and they looked good. Uh, big, big, strong team. But we was, we was right there in the thick of it. Just couldn't get it done, but we worked on it. Where were you at, at halftime? Talk about that. Well, at halftime, you know, we were we were looking at the mistakes we had made. We went back out, and they didn't score anything. Third quarter, we looked good. Uh, Mason, Going into the uh, fourth quarter, what was the score? Oh, I can't remember okay. exactly. Okay. But I think they scored once in the fourth quarter. It was 28-19, uh, I believe. Yeah. I believe it was 28-19. So it was competitive right it was there? Very competitive ball game right to the end. And uh, right at the end of the ball game, uh, we had a pass to – uh, two seconds left and just didn't get caught in the end zone for yeah. a touchdown. That yeah. would have made things a little bit more respectable, but it, it was it was our fault. Uh, there were some things that we did to ourselves. We, uh, you know, you hear those saying, "Don't shoot yourself in the foot." That's exactly what we did. And uh, you can't give good football teams, you know, the chances that we gave them. Short field to do right. it every time. And they, they took advantage of it. Yeah. You know, you know, kudos to them. But our, our team's ready to play ball tonight. We've worked all week on our mistakes. we worked to get better and correct some things. So we're excited about tonight. So uh, let's stay with uh, Ranburn just for okay. another minute and, 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 and the kicking game. And, and people think, well, the kicking game is, is not so important. You want touchdowns and, and all the glitz and glitter. But uh, kicking game is key to success. It is a very big key to success. And, and we're, we've been working on it, and, and, and Coach Moore um, uh, does that for us, and he does a great job at it. And uh, we put a lot of extra emphasis on it this week. And, and um, uh, we'll have somebody back there different to not punting. Our, our, you know, our punter's been uh, sick all week uh, with the strep throat. Mm. He, he's been out all week, uh, Ashton Nanu, with the strep throat. And uh, so we hope that he's better and able to be with us on the sidelines and not, we hope. Um, I think he's been a doctor and got his shots and got his medication and everything. But um, uh, we got another punter in there tonight, and so we'll see how he does. And uh, Nicky Barr has been doing a good job for us in that area. You know, he's our place kicker as well, kicks off for us and kicks our field goals. And we're very proud of him and what he can accomplish, what, what he does. So um, uh, he'll be put to the test tonight for sure. Well, we uh, remembered 9-11 this past Monday, and it is a special night tonight at Farm Links Field, too. Absolutely. We have our military appreciation night tonight, Jimmy, and you know, we're so thankful for all those that serve and have uh, served our country, that mm -hmm. still serve and have served. And uh, it's, it's not only those uh, folks, those men and women, but it's also our first responders, our police, our fire uh, ambulance, uh, uh, you know, uh, Everybody that serves others, we want to be recognized tonight. You know, I tell people about, I mean, Fett was such a unique community. 
Well, you you got those first responders. Uh, a lot of these people are volunteers. Right. But man, when you need them, they're there. They're always there. They do such a great job. The Fayetteville and the Lake Volunteer Fire Departments do a marvelous job of what they do. And and uh, we just want to say thank you. You know, uh, uh, we are, are served by so many people, and they protect us and care for us and watch out for our, our health and our families. And we just want to say thank you. So if someone comes tonight and they are indeed a, a member, have been a mm -hmm. member of the military, um, they, they don't have to wear the uniform or anything, just tell us. And, uh, and you know, they're first responder, tell us, and they're going to get in the ball game free tonight. And uh, it's, a, it's a big night for us. We want to say thank you. Well, uh, you're facing a team that is on a roll. They're sixth ranked in 2A and not far away, the Vincent Yellow Jackets, and boy, they're playing well. Well, Coach Weatherford has a, a fine group, and uh, their quarterback, running back, defensive ends, they, you, you name it, we could name several mm -hmm. players they have that do a really great job. Uh, their linebackers, they, they look good, they look strong. Uh, they're ranked sixth for a reason, and uh, Coach Weatherford's going to have those guys coming into Farm makes feel ready to go. You're confident in your club, though, aren't you? Absolutely. We've been working hard all week. We know what we're going to do. We just got to got to put a stop to it. Got to got to say enough of this, and and, and we got to man up and and uh, play football now. Mm -hmm. Got to block uh, better. And our our offensive line did a good job last week. We got to do better this week, and uh, and we got to have uh, better tackling. Uh, one thing I did notice: we'll hit them, but sometimes we're not wrapping our arms around mm -hmm. them. We got to wrap up, bring them to the ground. Yeah. And a lot of media in town tonight. That'll be right. our game of the week down at Fayetteville. Right. Uh, and there's a lot of interest in this game. Uh, it, looking at tape of Vincent, uh, what are some areas that you feel like that are, are a real concern for your club? Well, I feel like they can really run the ball very well. Uh, their, their quarterback is a true dual threat guy. He can, he can truly uh, uh, run the ball. And he knows when to, when to give. Mm -hmm. And uh, the offense is, is very, very similar to ours. And uh, that's, that's what's going Is that a plus for you? Or? It is, well, it is, in fact, that we know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And we see it all the time in practice. You just got to stop it. <laughs> right, we just got to stop it. We see what they're doing all the time in practice when we, when we look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, we, we recognize what they're doing. And there's no tricks about it. They're just going to line up and come right at you and try to beat you. And it's a key region game, too, tonight. It's a big region game. It's, uh, the one that wins this is going to get a, a, a really big lead mm -hmm. on the playoffs. This is a huge game for us. And our kids realize that. Uh, every region game is a big game. Um, and, you know, we're, you know, Coach Jackson and I talk, we're both still, uh, you know, a little smarting over that game last week. We really thought we, we should have won that ball game. And that hurts when you think you've, you've dropped one that you should have yeah. won. And uh, so uh, we can't keep dropping these ball games. We're one and one right now. Our team looks good. We got a good football team. It's just uh, Jimmy. We play in the SEC West. Yeah. And the teams that we face in our region are good, well coached, talented football teams. Uh, and you, uh, there's really no wiggle room there either. You it's know. Not. Uh, it's uh, not. not an easy night any week. We're talk talking with Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director of the Fayetteville Wolves. It is uh, honoring uh, military night tonight down at Farm Links Field. Beautiful, beautiful facility and one of the best kept football fields uh, uh, in the state of Alabama. And I know y'all will be proud to play on that field. Absolutely, it's a, you know, it's a community field because uh, when we started out, we had Farm Links helping out out there and so many people were involved. And, uh, and at one time they had the Auburn University out there when they first got things started in the tree grove mm -hmm. and they helped out on the field and everything else and we've kept that uh, going for a lot of years and, and, uh, and of course my coaches work on it hard and, and uh, a friend of mine Jeff Scott works on it hard and, and uh, it's just a, it's a community effort to get that field ready to go remember, but it looks good. You remember coach back years ago when the, the home field was at Childersburg? Absolutely years <laughs> ago when, the, when Pepper played ball it was at Childersburg. Mm -hmm. we, we still are very appreciative of those guys for, for that, but uh, we've got a great field, a great facility, and a great community. We want everybody to come out. And I'd just like to say thank you to our fans for always being there and always being so supportive. They're there, and they'll be there tonight and to cheer us on, and we need that. So how do you feel you may be able offensively to uh, make some inroads against this Vincent defense? Well, you know, uh, I think we're better run the football on these guys. 
Uh, our guys are going to block. They're going to uh, get those holes there. And, and we got a couple of running backs that's pretty good ourselves. So we're going to establish that running game. Mm -hmm. Keep that defense off the field. What we want is, you know, long drives. Establish that run game. And, and it'll look good for us if we can do that. Are you settling into the no play calling for you? Yeah. Or? Well, I'm, I'm able to settle in that because uh, Coach Carter <laughs> does such a great job. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be settled in at all if he didn't. Yeah. But I'm very supportive of him and, and trust him and, implicitly, and he's doing a good job, and I appreciate that so much. And, and uh, you know, we, uh, we all rejoice together when things are, are going well, and, and we all hurt together when things aren't. And, uh, but isn't that life? Isn't that what football teaches us? Yeah. So that's what I love about the game of football. It's so much uh, uh, about a teacher. It's so much, you know, our kids get that education on life when they play football. All right, let's uh, spotlight a couple of players this morning. Uh, somebody stood up last night. He's going to be a captain tonight, Grayson Fanning. Defensive side of the ball, defensive line. He is uh, wreaking havoc and doing a great job. We really appreciate him so What's, very much. What size young man is he? Uh, he's not as big as what we'd like. <laughs> we'd like for him to be bigger. I'm going to say he's about a, a 175, 180 kid. He's about six feet tall. Mm -hmm. a great individual. Just a fantastic person. Really in, enjoys the game of football. He really has fun at it. And he's done a great job defensively. Uh, our other captain tonight is going to be uh, Cam Hammonds. And uh, let me tell you, last night he had two touchdowns, 120 yards rushing. Had a solid night, solid night. And uh, he played defense uh, just out the gate. Was hitting the horn, mm -hmm. playing defense, and uh, and Jimmy at the end of the ball game, I was not up there, but I had coaches telling me that as others were getting on the bus and sulking and you know whatever about losing, uh, Cam was loading up the equipment trailer with equipment without being asked. Wow. Yeah, that's what you want in a young man. Mm -hmm. That's what he was doing. Yeah. And uh, he's a captain tonight, so I'll spotlight those two guys. I don't know if you you've noticed it. You may have, but uh, uh, just this week, uh, 7A Tuscaloosa County has forfeited its week two football victory over uh, Bessemer City. And I've said this for several years, that usually what's happening in college football, what happens in the NFL trickles down to college football, and a lot of times it trickles down from college to high school. Right. And uh, they had to forfeit uh, their win over Bessemer City because of uh, gift cards that were given right. to their players. And, you know, it seemed like that's so innocent, yeah. but rules are rules, aren't they? Rules are rules, and, and, and you have to go by them. I hate that for those guys. I hate that for their for their fans, community, and team that, that you know, won a ball game and had to give it up. I, I hate that, but uh, at Fatball, our kids can expect to be educated. They can expect to work. Uh, I had a couple of them cleaning out the shed yesterday because of something I didn't like they did. So, <laughs> so they actually cleaned out the shed and did a great job at it. And, and uh, but we got great kids. And uh, but we're not going to do anything like that. When it gets when the NIL comes to fail, well, that's when <laughs> Coach Limbaugh retires. Yeah, when, when you're hanging it yeah, up, right? right? That's right. We're not uh, we're not doing that. Yeah. Not playing that game. Uh, the executive director Alvin Briggs sent a memo to member principal. I'm sure you got yours yeah. uh, 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 last week, reminding yeah. them of the amateur rules right. after special uh, inquiries were made to the office and uh, it says quote it should be understood that the NCAA's NIL does not apply to current high school student athletes absolutely well I, you know I, I appreciate that about our leadership in the AHSAA I appreciate them coming out saying we're not going to be one of these yeah. states that allow this I appreciate that so very much because there's no place for it in high school football uh, in my opinion, you know, plays for in college football. I you know, <laughs> you know, Coach. Before we go this morning, that uh, Benson has watched a lot of tape sure. of the Wolves, and they've noticed the uh, uh, weakness last week and the mistakes last week right. in the kicking game. Right. Uh, you got to shore that up. Absolutely. That's what we worked on hard all week, uh, getting ready for that. We understand. If I was them, I was, that's where I'd hit us for sure. <laughs> You know, because when you watch a film, you look for that team's weakness. You look for what they're not good at. But uh, I, I hope that be the case because, you know, we'll do fine with that tonight. But the thing about it is I hope we don't have to punt. There you go. <laughs> absolutely. If we don't punt, we don't worry about it. Right. Kick extra that's points. Right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director of Fevon. How's the volleyball team doing? Fantastic. Very proud of them. Uh, I tell you what, they're, they're a fun team to watch. They get after it. And, uh, you know, Coach was talking the other day about uh, us being a 
not a very tall team. Uh -huh. we don't, we're not long. We're not very tall. And uh, still getting those W's, still getting those wins, still fighting, scratching for everything. So Coach McArthur is doing a great job. I really appreciate what she's doing and all of our uh, girls that are involved and our parents. It's, it's fun to watch. Fun, fun group to be you, around. You think you're uh, still young enough to get up and get a kill? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't play with those girls. They'd beat me dead. Coach <laughs> cool. John Limbaugh, head football coach and head director of the Fayetteville Woods. Fayetteville hosting Vincent in a key region matchup. Uh, kick 7 o'clock tonight. Our pregame begins at 6.30. We want to see all of you at uh, Farm Links Field for uh, uh, it is a military night. We're going to honor all our military and first responders. So big crowd. Expect to hope to see you there. Coach, we'll see you tonight as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Jimmy. Go Wolves. Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director of the Fayetteville Wolves. Our guest this morning brought to you by Lori Darlings in downtown Fayetteville, Alabama. More daybreak just ahead. <laughs>